What's up y'all, Walla Moose here, and I know it's been a month since my last video, life has been crazy, but I'm finally getting back to it, so I apologize for that. But in today's video, we're gonna be talking about Facebook ads and how to run Facebook ads to your Etsy listings or your Shopify listings. But before I begin, my name is Josh, AKA Walla Moose, and I post here on YouTube once a week with videos regarding digital business and lifestyle. So if you're interested in that, please subscribe. I'd love to have you along for the ride. But now let's jump into Facebook and we can get started on that. Alrighty, so we're here in Facebook, and one thing about Facebook ads is you need a Facebook business page in order to run ads, and so if you don't already have one of those, quickly create a business page for your shop, and then we can uh, get started running your ads. But if you do already have one, meet me at your page, and we're going to go over here on the left-hand side to the ad center. There's also a way to do it using the URL business.facebook.com, but I feel like it's easier just using it within the actual page. So click on ad center, and we can um, jump into your ads. So in addition to pulling this up, have another tab open in your browser with your either Shopify store or your Etsy store or whatever store store you want to uh, run ads to. So for this particular set of ads, you have our store and you can run ads to your store in general. Like when people click on the ad, it'll take them to your store, but I would recommend running it to a specific listing. And the reason for this is because if you run an ad to your store in general, they're going to land on it and they may see something that they like and buy it, but there's no real call to action for them to purchase any one of these. However, if we land directly on your specific listing, then there is a call to action, which is add to cart, which in turn increases your conversion rate for actually people going on to buy it. So it's always better to have specific listing ads as opposed to just general store ads because people are going to see this listing on your ad and if they click on it to begin with, odds are they're interested in that listing so um, they have a higher chance of buying it. So have whatever store or have whatever listing you want up ready to go and then we're going to go back here to ads. So when you create an ad, there's multiple options for you to choose from. You can either do um, an advertising plan, which is kind of a done for you Facebook thing. Um, you can boost a post, but we're going to create a new ad. And then within this, there's a subset of options that you can choose from, and that is your goal. So on the goal, we're going to change that. And Facebook frequently updates this. There used to be a whole bunch of different options, but they kind of shortened it down with their new update. Um, so we're going to do, let's see, get more website visitors and save. There used to be a tab that says get more sales. Um, if they have that for you, if it hasn't updated for you, click that. It's the best, um, but they took my option away for that. So we're going to do get more website visitors. I think it also depends on if you have your listings directly associated with your Facebook page, with I, which I don't. I'm using my Wallamoose Facebook page for this, this example. So you may or may not have a get more sales option. And then we're going to go down here to add creative. And this is what people will see when you run your ad. And here is where the magic happens, where most of the conversion will occur. Um, the better you write your ad, the more enticing it will be for people to actually click on this. So um, it'll ask you for a description, an image, a headline, and then a button, as well as a URL. We'll get to the URL in a second. Uh, the image will be the first thing people see. There's a preview up here. And as you can see, obviously the image is at the forefront. So um, if you have physical products and you're running like a Christmas sale, maybe make a really good photo that's square one by one ratio of your product with like a nice Christmassy background, just very professional and enticing. If you have digital products like me, this is a digital printable. Um, you can just do the listing image if it's good, if it's kind of not that great, um, just make another one that's more enticing. So. I am going to actually use my listing image for this specific example, um, but you can take a physical image or a listing image, uh, whatever you prefer. Alrighty, so I have my listing image right here, and in my opinion, I think it's pretty eye-catchy. Um, I just I may be biased because it's mine, but uh, I think that's pretty eye-catching. So the description, um, unlike the header, you you think the header would be up top, but the description is actually the post text description up here underneath your um, profile picture. So what I like to do, I always like to keep it short and enticing. Um, and I also like to bookend it with emojis. Emojis for some reason really help people, um, capture people's attention. So let me quickly think of one right here and I will get back to you in a second. Alrighty, so I have a quick little header that says take back control of your life with this emergency planner. Um, it's a call to action. It entices people in my opinion. Um, and then I bookended it with two calendar emojis and make the emojis whatever is relevant to you. If you don't know how to get emojis, 
um, if you don't have an emoji keyboard I have an emoji keyboard on my laptop but not on my desktop which is what I'm on now so what I did was I just went to Google searched planner emoji highlighted it ooh, not that one um, highlighted it right here hit command C and then went back here and hit command V to paste it and as you can see it pasted right in there so uh, that's a good workaround if you don't have an emoji keyboard now let's go down to the header and button label so the button label we want it to say shop now oh, they took it away oh wait I'm an idiot sorry sorry I'm an idiot scroll down okay shop now is our button because that's what people are going to do they're going to shop now or is there a buy now button mm, it doesn't look like it so shop now will be best in our our case and the headline um, the headline is right here in bold it's very small so we want to keep it short short and concise um, if you're having a sale this is a really good place to have that so say 20% off yeah, 20% off. So sales, free shipping, anything like that is a really good um, header to put here because it's short and it catches people's attention. And then we are good to go. So for this website URL, this is going to be the URL of your specific listing. But I would recommend going a step further and going to bit.ly.com. It's B-I-T dot L-Y. Sorry, not bit.ly.com. It's just bit.ly. B-I-T dot L-Y. Log in. Um, you don't have to log in if you don't want to. Um, you can actually shorten a link directly on it. But what we're going to do is go grab the URL of your listing. Go back to Bitly. Shorten your link. See how long that is. Hit shorten. And we will have this tiny link right here. And what this does, it, it doesn't matter that it's short because people won't see the link anyways. Um, but you can go back to Bitly and actually see analytics on how people click on it or if people click on it and where they're from so you get a bit more analytics than Facebook ads so um, just log in create a free account and you can see the analytics of people who click on that link so go back to Facebook paste your shortened URL it should look something like this if you're on Etsy Shopify it'll look a bit different um, and we're gonna go down here to audiences so audiences is who this will target and this is the kind of make or break whether the right audience will see it so you really want to make sure you're targeting the right audience so take a second to consider who you want to reach um, oh before I do that a special ad category if you're dealing with real estate finances loans or I think that's the top three oh political issues right here employment housing social issues elections or polit politics um, you have to select special ad categories um, it's just limited on what audiences you can choose because um, there's no discrimination within these. Um, for example, if I just want women to see this because I think women would be more likely to buy this, I can target just women. But for these categories, you can't do that. You, you have to be very um, inclusive, which is, which is great. It's good to have these regulations um, so people don't get gypped on important issues like housing or social issues. Um, but if you're just selling a product, you really don't have to worry about that. It's just kind of those um, hot topic issues. Okay, so smart audiences, if you're kind of scared and don't really know who to target, you can choose smart audiences and Facebook will pull people who are interested in your Facebook page um, and kind of target those people. But if you kind of have a smaller page or if you don't trust Facebook, uh, you think they're going to steal your money, which they probably will, um, you can um, target your audience yourself. So that's what we're going to do. So let's do people we choose through targeting and it'll pull up audience details. And if you hit this little edit button right here, we can actually expand and target the people you want. And I know this can kind of look overwhelming, but let's break it down into sections. So gender, do you want to target men, women, or all? In my case, I'm doing all. Uh, age, what age of people do you think are going to buy your product? If you think it's more for younger people, you can slide it and do 18 to 23. Or in my case, I probably have mm, 18, no, let's say 20. Well, people going off to college, let's do 18 to 55 just to be safe for my emergency binder printable. Location, um, if you ship and you want domestic shipping so only the US you can choose the US if you just want local you can do your local town um, all you need to do is type in a location and select it and then go down here and detail targeting this is the interests of people who are gonna go after your ad so I've still got some leftover from previous ads uh, let's get rid of these real quick 
So mine is a digital printable. So for emergencies. And so I got to think about who would most likely use that. Um, so parents who have kids going off to college who maybe need a resource for emergencies. Um, maybe teachers who need an emergency plan. New parents. Um, young single adults. Uh, so kind of get into the mind of your audience. See who would need your ad and target them accordingly. Uh, you can type in options. So let's say um, parents of 18 to 26 year olds, probably parents of newborns, uh, one to two, probably. Um, but if you don't know what to type in, you can actually hit browse and it will take up these where you can expand it and see what Facebook has to offer. So these are a bit different than keywords. People aren't going to search for this kind of stuff. It's going to target people who meet this demographic. So um, you could be a job. If I think teachers are going to um, go after this, I can go to work, industries, employers, job titles, teachers. So high school teachers, maybe um, I can do relationships. So if I think people are single and going to use it, or if I think married people are going to use it, most likely probably married people are going to use it, um, or widowed, they may need an emergency plan. So you can go through here for parents, life events, financial education, relationships. If you haven't seen this kind of stuff before, it's kind of icky. I feel like being able to track all that stuff about people. Um, but it really just the more detail you have up here, the better targeted your ads are going to be. So that's demographics. You can also choose interests. So what people are interested in, same concept. Behaviors, if people are mobile users and you want people to only be desktop, you can choose that. Politics, I'm not going to get into that. Other categories, um, no other categories. So go through there, flip through, see what people you think would purchase your product. Um, and be as detailed as possible. Add as many tags as possible, and you just get a better pool to choose from. So right now you can see my audience definition. It's about 41 to 48 million. That's a bit high. Um, I want it to be more specific. So I, in theory, I would add more and it would lower the range. In theory, you want um, probably less than a million just because you know they're really, really targeted people and there's a smaller pool to choose from. Um, so you're not accidentally targeting people who would not even be remotely interested because 41 million people is a lot and odds are they're not going to be interested in my product. So keep it very specific, um, add more so you can whittle this number down and then save audience. So now we have our ad and our audience. Now we're going to go to how long we want to run this. So uh, Facebook is really great for cheap ads. I feel like if you use Google ads, you're kind of spending more money, um, but you're able to target keywords. So um, when you're first starting off, you want to smart, start smaller. And if you're seeing some results, increase your budget, we can, which you can go back later and increase budget. So you can either run this continuously, which means it would never stop. It'll just do like a dollar a day forever. Or if you're kind of scared, um, you'll forget it and spend more money than you want. You can choose a duration. So I say, I want to do this for five days. And I want to spend $5 a day, which is $25 total, which is kind of a good starting point. But if that's still too much, you can do like, I want to do $2 a day for five days, which is $10. And as I can see, um, I'll reach about 210 to 600 people a day. Um, that's probably going to be on the lower end. Don't um, look at this high number. Um, and then link clicks, I'll probably get about 24 link clicks a day. And then with link clicks, keep in mind that it's usually about a one to two percent conversion rate conservatively. Some people have better, some people have worse if it's a really bad ad. Um, but so one percent, uh, you'll probably get a sale every probably three days. So if your sale, you'll probably spend about six dollars in ad spend for one sale um, with a two percent conversion rate right here. Um, if your profit margin, if your product is $10, that may not be worth it. But if your product is like $30, that may be worth it. So keep in mind your profit margin and how much you're spending. And then select your payment method and promote now. I'm not going to promote it because I don't want to run this. Um, but all you need to do is promote it. It'll run to 
Um, it'll send to Facebook to get approved, and once it's approved, you're good to go. So uh, after it's run, you can just go back here to Ad Center, and then there's a list of ads. Um, as you can see, I'm not running any now, um, but it'll pop up here with your reach, your link clicks, and your total spend. So you can get all of your analytics here. And then if you want to dive deeper, just hit View Results, and then it'll pull up a more detailed view of who, what age range. You can see like, oh, more older people are clicking on it which for this specific ad, I didn't want an older audience, so I should have adjusted that. But yeah, so that's about it. Whew, that was a long video. I'm exhausted, um, but I hope it helped. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below. Um, if you like this kind of content, please subscribe, like this video, do all that fun stuff. Um, and thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video.